<coughs> Hi viewers, uh, this is Salahuddin uh, with uh, lecture number uh, 14. In the previous lecture we talked about Judge 2 and then we talked about his personality and then we talked about the uh, main events of the of Judge 2. The first event that we talked about was the Jacobite revolt of 1745. As I told you, there were three main important events that took place in the Ruyenab Judge 2. Uh, the Jacobite revolt of 1745, the war of Jenkins year, and then the war of Austin succession. So these two important events we will talk about today in this lecture. So coming to the topic, uh, the topic is the War of Jenkins Air. Uh, this war was fought in 1739 and why between uh, whom this uh, war fought and why this war was, was fought. Uh, this war was basically fought between England and uh, 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 Spain and the, what were the main cause of the war of this uh, uh, Jen Jenkin year? Uh, basically, uh, according to our Treaty of Utrecht, as, uh, as I told you, that was uh, 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 that was formed in 1713 during the reign of Queen Anne and according to this treaty uh, the English were permitted uh, to send one ship every week, every year uh, to trade with the Spanish colonies in America. Spain had also colonies in America, uh, in America, in the North America while uh, English had also colonies there but uh, Spain permitted them uh, only to send one ship a year of goods to the Spanish colonies of America uh, but what happened the demand of the English goods it was increased in the Spanish colonies in America so the uh, the English were taking advantage and misusing that permission that was given to the English ships that you can ship only one uh, that you can uh, ship goods uh, of and only one ship a year, but they started misusing this uh, privilege and uh, sending more than one ship a year. Uh, thus, the uh, Spanish people they, they, in, the, in the colonies of America, they cut up the ear of the English captain known as Jenkin. Uh, Jenkin. Uh, so, therefore, the war is also known as the Jenkin Ear War. Jenkins Ear War. Uh, in uh, the ear of the English captain, Jenkin was cut off and it uh, incited and uh, and, and instigated the entire English nation. So they bring the matter uh, and some historians say historians say that they, even the captain himself uh, came to the parliament of uh, England with his ear that was cut off and thus the entire parliamentarians they were incited and, uh, and, and demanded that a war should be declared on, the, on, on, on Spain. Uh, at that time, uh, Robert Walpole was the Prime Minister and Judge II was uh, uh, the King. Uh, Walpole was uh, bitterly opposed this demand, but due to the excessive uh, uh, demand of the people that a war should be um, part between uh, um, England and Spain over this uh, matter, to take the uh, revenge of their captain. So thus the war part between Spain and England. Uh, at the start of the war, the English uh, um, uh, were uh, quite uh, succeeded in the, in the war, but later on they faced the defeat at the hands of the Spain. So this is just about the war of Jenkins' heir and what could be 
expectation regarding this topic in the examination. So we can ex expect a short note on this uh, topic war of Jenkins ear. Uh, what, what do you know about the war of Jenkins ear? Uh, write a short note on war of Jenkins ear. So this is about all about the, the war of Jenkins ear. Uh, the second important event that took place in uh, the War of Austrian Succession, which is also known as the Seven Year War. In, in this war uh, took place between seven, 1740 to 1748. So, what was the prime reasons and how? Let's have a brief introduction of the War of. Uh, Austrian succession. Uh, actually, Charles, who was the king of Austria, had no son. Though he had uh, uh, daughters, but he had no male child. Uh, what was the criteria of Austria that uh, a female uh, cannot um, come on the throne of Austria as a king or as a ruler. This was in the charter of the Austria. Austria are the uh, rules of succession to the throne of Austria. And Charles would try to pacify the situation and for that he uh, they pacify the great powers to make them pleased by any mean and, and for, that, for that purpose, uh, he pleased both France uh, by giving some area of uh, her country, uh, of his country. And then uh, even uh, Charles also banned uh, his own company where English were uh, trading. And for that, uh, both English and France got pleased and this giving the permission to, um, to invite uh, his daughter on the throne of Austria and the name of the daughter is Maria Theresa. Uh, but what happened uh, when in 1740 uh, Charles IV uh, died, uh, his daughter Maria Theresa came on the throne of Austria but within the same month, the war against Austria started from multiple directions. So what were the causes of the war of Austrian succession? Let's talk about the causes of the war of the Austrian succession. Uh, the first cause was the uh, Frederick, the ruler of Russia, uh, sorry, uh, Prussia, attacked Austria and captured uh, her fertile uh, province of Salaria uh, and uh, Frederick thought that the woman is ruling here uh, so he got uh, the opportunity and and thus capturing the Patile uh, province or the Patile area of Austria known as Salaria. This was the first uh, cause. Secondly uh, the other rulers also got encouraged when they saw the Frederick of Prussia that he got uh, some part of the Austria. They also started uh, uh, such campaigns to invade Prussia, uh, to invade Austria. Uh, the third one is the Elector of Bavaria, the son-in-law of Elder uh, Charles, son-in-law of Charles Elder uh, brother. Uh, thought himself to be the real heir to the throne of the uh, to the throne of Austria, so he attacked Austria. Uh, Elector of Bavaria, uh, he thought that he is the real uh, heir to the throne of Austria because uh, he is some some kind of uh, affinities, uh, rela relations and uh, blood relation. I mean, uh, therefore. Uh, Elector of Bavaria thought that uh, it is his uh, right to uh, come on the succession or to, uh, to succeed to the throne of Austria. Thus from that side also the war uh, broke and 
the invasion of Austria started. And then uh, fourthly, Philip V of Spain, uh, also eager to capture his last territories of Milan and Naples, because uh, Philip uh, V had lost some territories in a war that was passed earlier, that was part earlier. So he, they, the Philip V also got encouraged to regain his last territories. Thus, from that side, the annexation of Austria also started. And then finally, the uh, Louis XIV of France helping the Elector of Bavaria to the Austrian throne and to take away Netherlands, which was a very fertile land of Austria. Thus, uh, France was also encouraging the Elector of Bavaria, who was also uh, of the view that uh, he is uh, the right person and having the right to come on the throne of Austria. Thus, help, uh, thus they, with the help of France, they also got captured the fertile land of Netherlands of Austria. So these were basically the causes of the war of the Austrian succession or the war of seven year. Uh, coming to the main point, why England got engaged in this war? What were the reasons? So the war of uh, so uh, the 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 important reasons uh, of uh, the engagement of England in the war in this war. Uh, the first one is the war of Jenkins it was already in progress. So England sided with Austria because uh, Spain was uh, uh, already in war with the England over uh, Jenkins' air war that we talked just a bit early. Therefore, France, uh, England, England got the side of Austria. This was the first reason for England to, uh, to plunge in the battlefield. Uh, secondly, a cold war was already in progress between France and England. And the war was primarily on, on trade and trust. Uh, France had also colonies in, in North America and uh, England is, as well as England had also. And both of these two, they had colonies in India as well. Thus, there was a cold war between these two uh, countries, France and England. In 30, when uh, 1713 France captured Netherlands, England became more open to attack France. When uh, France uh, captured Netherlands with the help of uh, uh, Elector of El Bavaria, England became more uh, open to attack France. Uh, so the fourth important reason was the increase in power of Prussia was really a matter of great concern for um, England. Uh, Prussia, Prussia, Prussia had not good terms and condition with Hanover, a small state in Germany, while English and especially George II, who was the king of that time, was uh, highly and entrusted uh, to, uh, to protect Hanover a state in Germany, uh, which was his motherland. Uh, this uh, 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 the, uh, the, the increase in power of Prussia was of great concern for England. So to decrease the power of Prussia, England plunged in the, uh, in the war of Austrian succession. Uh, this way, the alliances formed between um, England and Austria on one side and France, Bavaria and Spain on the other side. Uh, thus, the war part between these two alliances. <clears throat> so, what were the uh, uh, um, results of Austrian succession? Uh, if we see, uh, Maria Theresa was uh, 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 Maria Theresa was the matter of great concern because her her uh, her. Uh, um, her throne and her succession to the throne of Austria was of great concern for all other countries. 
and when she came to the throne of uh, uh, Austria, uh, according to a treaty known as Ex La Chapli in 1748, which was the sole result of the war. According to this treaty, Ex La Chapli, uh, Maria Theresa was uh, declared the leader or the king of the Austria. But what were the uh, terms and condition are the clauses of the treaty. Uh, primarily, uh, the first condition are the uh, the result of the 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 war of Austrian succession, which was ended as a result of a treaty. Uh, the first condition was hold that the Maria Theresa was recognized as the ruler of Austria. This was the first condition. Uh, secondly, France and England uh, returned the capture uh, territories to, to Austria. Both had captured territories. And thirdly, Salaria was left in the hands of Prussia. Salaria was also uh, a territory of Austria which was left at the hands of Prussia. And uh, fifthly, France recognized the uh, Hanoverian succession to the throne of England and they also promised that, that France will not support uh, James II uh, or, the Jim, or James, II here, James II's heir or uh, his pretenders to the throne of England. So these were the results of the uh, Austrian War of Succession. Uh, coming to the causes of the failure of this treaty. Why this treaty got failed then? Uh, firstly, France and Prussia still wanted to exert uh, uh, exert the, their supremacy over each, uh, each other because they were in a kind of conflict and, and were trying to subdue each other. So this war between these two great powers uh, resulted in the failure of the Treaty X La Chapel. Uh, secondly, the colonial struggle between France and England uh, resulted in the failure of the treaty because uh, both these two countries had colonies uh, in, in, in North America as well as in India which resulted in the failure of the treaty and both could not comply with the treaty later on. Uh, then Austria had failed to regain her last territory to uh, Prussia, Celaria that we just talked about and that was an eyesore for Austria. This was another uh, cause of the failure of the treaty. And then uh, uh, finally English uh, did not agree to the policy of searching the English ships to the Spanish colonies of America. Uh, the English ships were were to be searched all in all and some conditions were also imposed on the English trade on the English ships that uh, which was unacceptable to England thus uh, Spain and England could not uh, comply with the terms of the treaty thus the, uh, the result of the treaty was directly the failure. So uh, this is all about the War of Austrian Succession, uh, the Seven Year War. Uh, we talked about all aspects of this topic. And if there is any question regarding this topic, you must ask in the comment section. So, thank you so much for watching, watching the video.